All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rukakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth to rule well. I'm going to be going into, you know, basically what it all sums up to is you have to judge righteously, but you have to judge it also according to scripture, man. You know, because like I'm going to go into. All right. Sometimes, you know, you may feel like something is correct. All right. When in reality, it isn't, you know, so, you know, like everything else, you have to filter it through the scriptures, you know, and make sure that what you're doing is is correct and it's justified by Yahweh, you know. So what seems right is only right if it's justified by the most high Yahweh. All right. That's the only way that it's 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 correct, you know. So one thing that that people bring up is is you can't praise Yahweh Shai. All right, because there should be no other no other power than the most high Yahweh, which is true. All right, but it's justified by the most high because that's his only begotten son. All right, the firstborn, the first created. And the most high said to praise Yahweh Shai, to listen to Yahweh Shai. This is my son whom I'm well um, pleased with. Hear ye him. You know? So you have to listen to Yahweh Shai. And that's what? That's a sign of servitude. Also, Psalms 2 tells you kiss the son lest he be angry. You see? But that doesn't mean that you have to go out there and, and, and serve other men in the sense of, of God's, in the sense of the Most High, in the sense of, of, of that nature, praying to him to save you. You know, because we all pray to the Most High to save us because ultimately it goes through the Most High. You know, Moses was was a mediator. All right. Between the people and, and the Most High. All right. Yet people didn't go up to Moses and praise Moses and bow down and, and pray to Moses. You know, because he was just a man. And Yahweh Shai was made. All right. So that we can praise Yahweh Shai and praise the Most High. You see. So it says, um. So like I was saying, I mean, um, you know, it's only just a, it's only right if it's justified by the most high, you know, it's only right if it's justified by the most high. So you have these females that feel, you know, sensitive because men can have many women, I'm not saying that you should go out there and just start popping women. All right. Because we're worried about this truth. This is the ultimate thing that we should be worried about, you know, but if you do have multiple women then it's no wrong there's no fall or foul you know it's according to scripture and, and and um scripture is verified by the most high you know it's justified by the most high because that's the word of the most high but nowhere does it say that women can have multiple men you know that's going according to feelings well if you can have many many women then i can have many men and that's not true you see it's not true. It's going completely off, man. The same thing with, with having sex on the Sabbath. That's going according to your feelings. That's going according to your it feels right. Not according to the Most High. The Most High said you have to keep yourself holy for that day, man. You know? And holy means to be separate. You have to separate yourself from everything that day. All right? And, and praise Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? Making videos, going out to the highways and the byways or... You know, uh, 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 studying, reading, you know, paying attention to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Really, it should be every day, but, you know, that day is special. It's a, it's a day of rest, you know, but it's not a day of rest from doing the work of the Most High. Like Yahweh Shai said, you know, he was working the work of the Most High on the Sabbath days. And people were pointing at him like, hey, look, he's, he, he's doing, you know, work in the Sabbath days, man. But he was doing the work in the will of the Father. You know, so the Proverbs 10 and 20, the tongue of the just is a choice silver. All right. The tongue of the just is a choice silver. The heart of the wicked is little worth. You see these words of wisdom that, that we're speaking. All right. This wisdom that we carry, this wisdom that we that we were given by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That is choice silver, man. You know, 
which really like also Proverbs also says, I believe it was um, four and eight, if I'm not mistaken. You know, this this truth, this wisdom is more beautiful than any rubies out there, man. You know, more beautiful than any jewels, more beautiful than anything out there, man. You know, this is choice silver, man. You know, and you're going to get the best kind of silver. You know, this is a poor man's. Uh, what is that saying in the world? The poor man's gold is silver. All right. Well, we are the poor men of the world. All right. And this is our silver, this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, the things that we say. All right. But in reality, this silver is worth much more than any type of ruby, any type of diamond, any type of gold. Because this, sil this, this, uh, this truth, this knowledge leads us into everlasting life, man. You know, and there's no price on that. So it says the heart of the wicked is little worth. I was going to that word heart. That word heart is lab. All right. Which, as we know, lab means mind. All right. Heart, soul, heart. All right. Your soul, your spirit relies in your mind. All right. See right here. It says mind, knowledge, thinking, reflection, memory, you know. That's what the heart is. It's your mind. You know, your heart, your lob, I should say, is not that that organ that's inside of you. All right, that muscle that pumps blood. But it's the one up here, uh, up on your dome, you know, in your head. That's the muscle. All right, that that's that's where uh, your thought process is. If you like something, your mind is going to send signals throughout your body that you like that. If you, if you don't, <clears throat> it's going to send signals throughout your body that you don't like it, you know, and it starts up with the mind. So it says the heart of the wicked is little worth, you see. So if your mindset is, you know, this feels right, this is what I'm going to do. Then the heart is wicked. All right. The heart of the wicked is, is little worth, you know, and aren't we all wicked? Aren't we all sinners? You know? So what do we have to filter it by? By the scriptures, you know? You have to filter everything through the scriptures, man. So verse 21, the lips of the righteous feed many, all right? To to um, making books, there is no end, you know? Why? Because these, these videos, you know, if they don't help out a brother, all right, because they didn't listen to it, then it helps you out because you're teaching yourself first and foremost, you know? And then it edifies the body. It says, but fools die for want of wisdom. You know, because they've been taught this wisdom and yet they don't want it. All right. They want the wisdom of the world. They want to know those, those, you know, exciting mysteries like who built the pyramids or, you know, uh, 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 stupid, stupid things of that nature, man. You know, that's what they want. That's what they want to know. That's what they want to hear. But when it comes to this truth, hey, you need to get right. All right. You need to stop eating pork. You know, you need to stop tatting yourself up. You need to start listening to your how about Shemiah was shy. These are the names. You're an Israelite and the Bible only pertains. Once you start getting into that stuff, man, they'll start pushing you away and say, nah, that's not what I want to hear, brother. But if you tell them all oh, the pyramid is actually an, an electrical current or an electrical tower an ancient electrical tower that sends signal throughout the cosmos, man, they'll, they'll, they'll throw their ears at you, man. You know, like that famous, um, I forgot what his name was, but before he started, uh, I think it was, uh, the guy that came up against Brutus that was friend of Caesar. All right. He said, uh, friends, countrymen, lend me your ears, lend me your ears. You know, you can't really lend your ear to somebody. All right. But it means pay attention, you know, and that's what Jake is going to do. If you start talking about some wild ass shit, man, outside of this truth, you know, they want to hear that type of stuff. They want to hear deceits. They want to hear false prophecies. They want to hear all of that. Oh, there used to be giants in the earth. They, they'll pay attention to that shit, man. But then when you go into now, nah, there wasn't any giants in the earth. That's actually talking about men. And those right when you get into that stuff, they start 
you know, pushing you away. Nah, 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 nah. That's not what I want to hear. You know? So the lips of the righteous feed many. Not everybody, but feed many, which is who? Zion, the elect. But fools die for want of wisdom. All right? Those ten virgins, five were wise and five were unwise. Because five had extra oil. Five had what they needed. And some. All right? And then the, the foolish ones, they didn't have any oil left. They only took whatever was able to burn to, to the gate. And then that was it. They didn't have anything left over. So they had to go by. All right? When they came back, it was too late. You know? That's the same way that, that, that this truth, all right, is with, with, um, with wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding. All right? If you're not about the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and and being uh, guided in this truth and being, uh, what is that word? Um, chastened by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, and being reproved, rebuked, exhorted. If you're not about that stuff, man, and then pretty soon you're going to find out, all right, that you're one of those five unwise virgins, you know? So going to the book of, um, so lucky, Jeremiah 17 and verse verse 9 it says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it all right the heart is deceitful deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it you know so don't go by your own understanding your own you know, your own mind and your own feelings. And, you know, well, I, I feel like if if I was to to have sex on the Sabbath day, that it'd be OK with with the most high because it's me. And I've been I've been working for the most. That's you deceiving yourself, man. You know, it's never a well, maybe. No, it's a yes or no, man. You know, the most high is, you know, it, scriptures talk about you. How was shy being an austere man? You know? When, you, when you're with an austere man, all right, and, you know, like my woman, she always says, you know, with you, I feel like I have to, you know, sometimes walk on eggshells. And that's true. All right. It's not necessarily bad because not everything is going to make me happy. You know, not not every type of, you know, anything she does, it makes me smile. That's not that's not true, man. Sometimes you have to put some type of rule. All right. If she want to talk about wickedness, then, you know, you put that shit away. Or, you know, if she want to, you know, do some some s stupid shit, you know, where she wants to usurp authority over the man, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes it is what it is. All right. We live in the flesh and and we also still carry the curses. How about Shemiel was shy said that the woman would be on top of the or over the man. All right. So sometimes it is what it is. All right. But that doesn't mean that you have to let all hell break loose in your own household, man. You know, there's a balance to things like the book of Proverbs says all right, an unjust balance is is, um, is an abomination to the most high. You know, a just balance is his delight. You know, so it says verse 10, I, Yahweh, will search the heart. So the most high knows the heart. He knows what's good. He knows what's bad. All right. And, and, and if you filter it through the most high who actually knows because no man knows their own heart, no man knows how the heart works. All right. Which I'm talking about the mind. All right. But if you filter it through the most high, which this is the word of the most high, then you'll be able to guide yourself, man. You know, I try the reins even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings, you know. So if you're you're lusting after a certain way of the world, he's going to give it to you. You know, he's going to give you up to those lusts. But if you filter it through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you'll be he, you'll, he'll be able to guide you through those things, man. You know why? Because the heart was deceitful above all things. And that word heart there is also the word lab. See, lab. And again, that word lab is the mind, all right? The inner part, which is talking about the mind, the knowledge, the thinking, the reflection that you do, you know? 
is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked, man. Your mind is desperately wicked, trying to do wickedness. All right, but this just came into my spirit. Let me see Isaiah 33 and verse, what was it, verse 5? Isaiah 33 and 5, Yahweh is exalted, for he dwelleth on high. He hath filled Zion, all right, the elect, with judgment and righteousness. You see? And where does judgment begin? In the mind. You know? Judgment, let me see. Mashapat, which is justice, ordinance, all right, which goes to the word order, all right? Act of deciding, all right, deciding a case. How do you decide something? Through the mind, you know? Process, a procedure, litigation before judges, case. A cause, sentence, decision, execution. And how do you make decisions again with the mind? You know? So this all goes with the mind and through the word of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, which he only gave to who? To the elect. Not everybody's going to have this. You know? Like I read earlier, he gave it for many, not for all. So again, Isaiah 33 and 5. Yahweh is exalted, for he dwelleth on high. He hath filled Zion with judgment and righteousness you know he only gave it to zion the elect you know verse six and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times you see and that that's not just time of jacob's trouble where it's going to be stable all right it is going to come and play it there as well all right but also in your your everyday life you know the most high stables you through this wisdom this knowledge and understanding. Let's look up that word stability. Stability is firmness, balance. All right. A just weight is his delight. That's a balance. Right. A state of being stable, firmness, you know. So if your mind is unstable, a double minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let's get that. Let's see, double minded man James 1 and 8 a double minded man is unstable in all his ways you see a double minded man is unstable in all his ways you know and that's just straight to the point man James 1 and 8 you know so wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times all right, so so your mind is not going to be double, all right, double-minded. You're going to be single-minded, which is how you should be, fixed in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right, filtered through the scriptures, all right, because this is the word of the Most High. It says, "In strength of salvation, the fear of Yahweh is his treasure." All right. So if you don't fear the most high, you're going to go according to your heart. Well, you know, I feel like I, I've done I've done enough. All right. I, I should be OK. No, because scripture says, all right, all that you labored for, if you turn around now, if you turn back to your old ways. All of those, all, all that righteousness that you had been working for. All right. That you had you had been doing. It's all going to be forgotten. All right. So when that day comes and you're back in the world. The Most High is going to destroy you, man. You know, that should bring fear to your heart. And like it says here, the fear of Yahweh is his treasure. You know, fearing Yahweh was shy, that, that should motivate you. That alone, that alone, the fear alone of the Most High is going to motivate you. All right. To increase, to, to continue to, to fight on, man. You know, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. All right. That means whenever you're alive and you have this truth, it's going to be your stability. You know, and it's all going to be justified by the stability that you receive from your by Shimei Shai. you know. So now jump into first Samuel. All right, because this is going to be an example of. Of, of Samuel. All right. And, and of. um. Saul, you know, because he felt like, oh, I'm, I'm just going to do this, you know, not fearing Yahweh Shai, 
all right what happened he got rebuked for it man so this is first samuel 13 and 8 and he tarried seven days according to the set time samuel had appointed but samuel came not to gilgal uh, gilgal and the people were scattered from him all right and saul bring hither a burnt offering to me and and saul said bring hither a burnt offering to me and a peace offering and he offered the burnt offering all right now number one this may not seem like it's it's something bad all right but saul was told wait this amount of days and wait until i come back all right this is what samuel told him samuel was the only one that was able to receive was able to make offerings because that was only given to the priesthood all right to um uh what's it called to 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 send those those burnt offerings to the most high because the most high is very particular on how he wants his things done all right if you're going to send a burnt offering all right he wanted a certain he wanted it done a certain way with certain spices at, at a certain time you know that's why some of the sons of aaron got destroyed because they sent a funny uh burnt offering to the most high and that's not what his pleasure was in so what he do he smote them you know But that's just that the way the way that the most high is, man. You know? His name is let's say Shama Allah. Shama, which is Shamai, is to hear, to listen, to obey. Alright. Let's go back. Allah means power. Alright, Shama Allah. Um or Sham. Sham Wa Allah Sham could be name. Alright. Shamai is to listen. Allah is power. So it could be translated to his name is power or his name is powerful. Alright. Or it could be um to listen to the power. Alright, to the most high. You know? But I said, um, verse nine, and Saul said, Bring hither a burnt offering to me and peace offerings and he offered the burnt offering and it came to pass that as soon as he made an, uh, an end of offering the burnt offering behold samuel came and saul went out to meet him that he might salute him all right so samuel saw uh uh saw you know doing what he was doing and saul saw no wrong in what he was doing he thought well you know you weren't you know samuel's not here so i'm just gonna throw up those offerings to the most high and you know we're gonna go into battle all right, because he saw the multitude of, of, of men, all right, that were that were leaving because they were waiting for Samuel to do the, the burnt offerings. And then after that, they would go to war, you know, but Samuel wasn't there yet. And it was set up that way by the Most High, you know. And plus the Most High, all right, if, if Saul would have been a man of the Lord, all right, he would have known that the Most High, the way that he does things is always in small numbers. All right, to magnify his name. You know, he's done it over and over and over and over and over. In the time, in the time of the the judges, all right, and, and in the book of the judges, it explains to you that history where the Most High would work with a small number of people. All right, and never the 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 whole nation. You know, it was for the bettering of the whole nation. All right, that's what the Most High does with everything. It's to better the whole nation. You know, and that actually brings me to. What was the second Maccabees six and twelve? Yep, it says, "Now I beseech those that read this book, that they be not discouraged for these calamities, but that they judge those punishments not to be for destruction, but for a chastening of our nation." You see, so the Most High works, all right, through a small remnant, all right, through a small number, in order to to do the, you know, for for rebuking the whole nation. You know, for the bettering of the whole nation of Israel, not for the whole world, but for the whole world of Israel. All right. The 12 tribes, you know, and that's where that that part comes in. All right. Where it talks about in the book of Romans that. The two thirds were made for the elect's sake. All right, because that, that that was our job, you know, one to have those enemies of the same nation. And two, so that we can save the whole nation through the spirit and power of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, you know, 
but according to election, all Israel shall be saved. You see? So it says, um, after Saul went out to uh, salute Samuel, verse 11 says, And Samuel said, What hast thou done? And Saul said, Because I saw the people were scattered from me, that thou camest not within the days appointed, and that Philistines gathered themselves together at Michmash. All right, so it, it, Samuel didn't pass those days that he had said, but he was late within minutes. All right. And by the by late, I'm saying according to to Saul, because he said, you know, I believe it was the seventh day. I'm going to be there. He never gave him a specific time. He never gave him anything. He just said on the seventh day, I'll be there, you know, and on the seventh day he showed up. But Saul was impatient. He wanted he wanted an answer quick. He wanted he jumped the gun. All right. He went according to his heart, his feelings. And that's not what this truth is about. It's not according to feelings. It's according to scripture. It's according to the most high. It's according to Yahawashai, you know. So it says, verse 12, therefore, said I, the Philistines will come down now upon me to Gilgal. And I have not made supplication unto Yahweh. I forced myself, therefore, you see, I forced myself, therefore, and offered a burnt offering. Going completely off, man. Verse 13, and Samuel said to Saul, thou hast done foolishly. Thou hast not kept the commandment of Yahweh thy God, which he commanded thee. For now would Yahweh have established thy kingdom upon Israel forever. Check that out, man. You know, Israel would have been living good all right the kingdom of heaven would have been way back then you know but king saul didn't do according to the commandments of the most high laws that's why we have law statutes and commandments man you know what well, you thought it was only done so that you know the most High can prove he you know he can he can give you some type of law or something all right the law statutes and commandments are for the flesh you know, that's why we have spirits of the flesh or spirits like it. Um, what's that word? Laws for the flesh and laws for, uh, for the spirit. You know. In the laws, it's not going to tell you, you know, make a video every single day. All right. Or try and make a video three times a week. That's not going to tell you in, in the physical law. But in the spiritual law, you need to be in the spirit. All right. As much as possible. You know, to wear down the flesh. To put away that corruption You know And Saul didn't have it He didn't have it man You know Verse 14 1 Samuel 13 and 14 But now thy kingdom shall not continue And Yahweh hath sought his him a man After his own heart And Yahweh hath commanded him To be captain over his people Because thou hast not kept That which the most high Yahweh Commanded thee You see that so in, in Revelations where it says, let no man take thy crown. First and foremost, that starts with you. First and foremost, it starts with you. Then it moves on to other men. Our deceitful doctrines moves on to women and moves on to anything in this world. But it starts out with you. Let no man take thy crown. That means don't cast your own crown away, man. Don't trim your ways. You know, that's what Israel has done. Our people have done that. They've trimmed their ways from the Most High. Why trimmest thou thy ways? You know? Trimming your ways is going against Yahabashim Yahushai, man. And that's what Saul did. He trimmed his ways, all right, which are the ways of the Most High. And what happened? He got punished for it. You know? That that's a that's a hurtful thing. <laughs> that's a hurtful thing, man. You know? Imagine you, you know doing what you want to do and then you know a, a, a elder brother or or a elder apostle comes to you and he says hey man you know you're going off man you know get the hell out of here you don't belong here with us you know what you're doing is separate from what we're doing the most high is going to bring somebody else other than you that's a hurtful thing man you know that's that's a hard rebuke you see the Most High is going to find somebody else that's after his ways and not going according to his own mind like you. Get out of here. He's going to kick your ass out. That's hurtful, man. You know? 
That's a hurtful thing. But that's what happened. All right, when you go against the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, because the Most High works with either many or with few. All right, this is 1 Samuel 14 and 6. It says, And Jonathan said to the young man that bear his armor, Come and let us go over unto garrison of these uncircumcised. It may be that Yahweh will work for us, for there is no restraint to Yahweh to save by many or by few you know so the most I can can save Israel with with two elect being Yahweh Shai and, and, and you know somebody else the most I can save all Israel just through two it might take longer all right but the most I can do it you know so you, you can't trim your ways man because if it's not you that's going to do the will of the Most High, then guess what? The Most High is just going to find somebody else. You know? <laughs> it's like people at, a, at at certain jobs, man. You know? It, it always happens in, in comedy movies. You know? Or, or, or it happens in, in different occasions. All right? Where you have somebody that's being pushed over and pushed over and pushed over at, at a work job. And they turn around, they say, you know what? If you're not going to give me what I want, then I'm leaving. And what is that job going to do? All right, get the hell out of here, man. We'll find somebody else to do it. If you won't do it, somebody else will. Same thing in these dealerships. Man, you're charging too much for this vehicle. All right, get the fuck going. Get to stepping. If you won't buy this vehicle, guaranteed there's going to be a dumbass out there to buy it. You know? If you don't want to be a fool for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai's sake, if you don't want to follow after Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, if you don't want to be that beautiful piece of jewelry, all right, then get the hell out, man. The Most High will find somebody else. Take your spot. You know? Let no man take thy crown. And it starts out with you, man. So what seems right, all right, is only right if it's justified by Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. All right? Which is what? Through the scriptures. Filtering through scriptures is important. You know? So I hope that was edifying. And with that, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to you brothers out there working in sincerity and in truth. Shalom.